rest in peace. Now the Ministry of Health has cautioned against laxity among those who have taken the COVID-19 vaccine. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kago says that the vaccine does not offer immediate protection, hence the need to keep adhering to the set guidelines. This coming as Kenya recorded a positivity rate of 22% on Monday, with 1,130 people testing positive for the coronavirus from a sample size of 5,119. Nancy Okware with the details. With the third wave of COVID-19 spreading in the country like a wildfire, the Minister of Health is expressing concern over flouting of containment measures in place. Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe saying that despite the vaccine being in place for frontline workers, it did not offer immediate protection. We have had this notion where people are complaining that somebody got positive the day after vaccinating. Now you will get, if you get exposed a day, a week towards two weeks you will still get what we do know at the end of the day is that vaccines save lives we've seen different reports coming out we've already seen a report that's been published in bmj that's a british medical journal that is telling us that once you get the covid vaccine it is possible perhaps that you may have immunity for at least a period of one year partial immune response after three weeks and then you realize the second dose is after eight weeks so you have 11 weeks already. When you get the second dose, the full protection comes after the second dose, and it also takes three weeks to confer you. So you are talking of 14 weeks. It is for this reason that the ministry is calling for continuous adherence to the measures in place to contain further spread. <laughs> Ati utaende, ukiendelea utaingia shimo. Kila mtu anakuambia hii jio unafuata ni ajia ya kukuingiza shimo. Shimoni. Alafu kisha ingia hiyo shimoni, ukiwa huko chini, unaangalia juu, wale walikuwa na kueleza usingie dani ya shimo, unaanza kuambia nyinyi ni watu ambaya hamunisaidi. This coming is 1,130 more people tested positive for COVID-19 from 5,119 samples tested. This representing a 22% positivity rate, the highest to be recorded this year. Nairobi County alone accounted for 730 of the new cases. The number of patients admitted in hospital standing at 1,013, out of whom 120 are in the intensive care unit. The health CS calling on counties to increase their capacity as hospitals in the country were overstretched. The number of fatalities also rose to 2023, with 12 more patients losing their lives on diverse dates due to late reports on deaths by facilities. Mombasa Governor Hassan Joho has in the meantime called on the essential service providers in Mombasa to come forth and receive the AstraZeneca vaccine. What we are seeing, the trend that we are seeing today, worry that they were meant for are avoiding taking it. But the good news is that we have bigger numbers of communities that are coming forward asking for the vaccines. He said that the turnout has been low even as the county received 12,000 doses. Meanwhile, Migori County has intensified surveillance along its borders with Tanzania as cases of COVID-19 intensify. And they have been doing it. Eh? A lot of border patrol to ensure that uh, people don't just cross in aimlessly, aimlessly. Eh? They, they, they must just follow uh, the, the route. And that is our <coughs> border point where screening is done. This coming as Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital is set to unveil 30 new intensive care unit beds. We have 24 plus 8, that is 32 uh, beds, and as I said, those are full, and that is why we decided to open up another 30, 30 bed. As it were, we are ready uh, in terms of uh, preparedness, uh, but we are also enhancing our prevention part uh, so that we can reduce uh, more people being uh, infected. The facilities board of management chairperson Olive Mugenda said the new beds will sum to 62 the ICU bed capacity of the referral facility. 
with the vaccination exercise for frontline workers ongoing across the country. The Minister of Health is cautioning the public against laxity under the notion that the vaccine offers immediate protection, hence the importance to keep adhering to the set guidelines. Nancy Okwari, Channel One News.